All right, got the car up, got the hood open, so we get some light down there. And you can see the recall cut out the old, or the just fine engine guard pan. So the whole bottom of the motor is exposed. So we're gonna be replacing that uh, cover guard, splash guard thing. All right, I jacked the cruise up using my speed jack. I got two jack stands. I jacked it right on the corner of the, what is that, a unibody or something? And the jack stands are right back. Same on the other side. All right, for this next step, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket, and some pliers, and screwdriver. Uh, pretty easy. All right, I got the driver's side out here. Real easy. You got uh, one, two, three, three of these little push pin jobs, real cheap. You can just buy replacements, which I did on eBay. This is gonna be your first special part. I'll have the link in the, or the part number in the description. Uh, I might be able to reuse this or something. But this was already broke as I pulled it out, so I think the last time I had the oil change or something, they uh, they just reused it. You have a couple of screws. One, two, three. Real easy. You'll locate it in there. I'll show the inside. You might find some interesting stuff under here. Um, I discovered I have an entire bird that I do not know how long it's been in there. I mean, my buddy just discovered it. But uh. Yeah, well, uh, I might deal with that. I'll try to get her out of there. Have a proper ceremony. Oh my god. Alright, we got the passenger side off here. Uh, two screws were in the front. Add more right down the frame. There, there. There's your special nut there. And then we had two on the side. Broke the hell out of that. I'll show you under view. become like a political comedian. All right, two on the side guard, you can see it there. Then you just got one on uh, that part there. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. All right, this is what we ended up with after. I just bought this bag off eBay. Just some push pins. Uh, I think that was like, I don't know, five bucks. So these, most of these will work again. Uh, I am missing a couple screws. I noticed that when they must have did the recall, they fucking decided to keep some for themselves. This part here, which is this, cost like five bucks. I only bought one. I thought I only needed one. I don't really even see how these are too important. Uh, we'll see that later. All right, I got the uh, two old pieces out, or the one old piece, and I got my new piece under it. You can see with this example the uh, difference of what it looks like. Uh, before I put the new one in, I'm going to actually end up washing the engine and uh, and uh, getting that thing all cleaned up because surprisingly this will actually uh, this makes a big difference, I've noticed, after they, they took it out. Alright, well before I put the new uh, shield on, I decided to blow out and uh, wash the engine. I'm just uh, just warming it up, get rid of all the moisture. I'm gonna let this actually sit overnight and uh, let everything dry out so I'm not getting dripped with water when I'm putting the new one on. Alright, I may have been a little obsessive, but just in case I ever bring it into the dealership to get an oil change, I put do not cut all over the bottom of this, along with I will be telling them that I had the warranty work done, but I replaced it because I was unsatisfied. Uh, this is just uh, do this at your own discretion if you'd like to. The original recall was that oil would collect in this pan or shield uh, and catch fire. They ended up chopping all that out. Well, so I was looking at it and there is this uh, bit of a lip around the whole thing. You get a better picture. There you go. And uh, I've noticed that you, you know, probably could feel quite a bit of oil in this from that little lip. So I just ended up uh, cutting some relief, little uh, relief things around it, just in case oil did ever get in there, which it never will, because my car won't leak oil, I'll make sure of that. Uh, I can just drain out from there. They're the same on the other side, shows it a little better. But 
Just a safety precaution, I guess you could say. All right, new shields back in. The only thing you really gotta watch for, these uh, plastic things from your front of your bumper. You go under it, you kinda hold it up, almost like, even though you got a bunch of bolts. Or screws, um, either than that, everything was good. I was bolt, bolt sh screw short, so that's my own. Uh, then those spl special plastic things, which don't really do a whole lot. Um, that's the one right here. And then there's uh, one over there. But other than that, those new shields in. Probably, uh, I don't know, two hours to do everything. Pretty easy, though. I'd say um, most anybody can do it themselves as long as they have their a jack, some jack stands. And they know how to do simple stuff. So, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Yada, yada. All right.